back to another episode of Le Bon Vie Champagne TV. This month we continue our focus on wines from the Orb. And the producer, Pierre Joubet, with the Champagne L'Audace. It is in fact a Blanc de Noir Zero Dosage wine. The house of Pierre Joubet was founded in 1930 and it's situated in the Côte de Bar on the sunny slopes of the Valley d'Olas, the most southerly point of Champagne. The four generations in the house work together, from the oldest, Ulysse, to Pascal, Pierre and the youngest, Aurelien. The domain was converted to organic cultivation in 1996 and the family take enormous pride in the management of their vines. Now, I've read that the youngest member of the family, Aurelien Gervais, is a nerdy, handsome, hipster winemaker who is rather self-assured for his age, yet softly spoken and humble. Quite a description, but whatever he's doing, I vote that he keeps doing it. The next generation who have taken over a great asset of old vines with organic management. The new gen, however, have added passion, focus and drive, making this vineyard a real talking point of the South. Champagne in focus, and let me tell you, it was a difficult choice choosing from the house. This month is L'Audace. The wine, as I stated, is a Brutnay tour. So absolutely not a lick of dosage. 100% Pinot Noir. The vineyard includes some wines developed through a selection of Massal and from the rare variety of Pinot Noir called Pinot Drou, in which the fruit bearing the shoots grow upwards instead of taking at right angles to the main plant. Accordingly, the resulting juice offers a unique flavour profile and produces a very distinctive champagne. Although the current offering derives entirely from the 2010 vintage, the domain has decided not to designate it a vintage champagne. There is zero dosage, of course the wine being a Brut Nature, but it's aged on lees in bottle for 24 months. It's disgorged and settled back down in the cellar for an additional six months before it's released to us. Now the total sulfur dioxide, which is important to some people, is less than eight milligrams per litre. As a result, it can be legally labelled as sulfur free. I know that this is a growing concern and a trend for some people to have lower amounts of sulfur in their wines. The wine, it has a very high average in terms of vine age, parcels dating back to 1904. The parcel selection of the old vines is actually for the prestige cuvées. A point to note before we dive into the tasting of this champagne is that Aurel trained in Burgundy. His mentor, Olivier Lame, son of Hubert Lame, and arguably one of the hottest young winemakers in France. It'll be interesting to see the influence on the cuvée. The colour is a really deep golden hue and it's got a stunning bronze tone, intimating at the composition of being a 100% Pinot Noir cépage or a Blanc de Noirs. It is a confident aroma that explodes out of the glass. Initially, Benoisette on the first approach, followed by some kumquat, some ripe pear and some toffee apple in the background. On the palate, it's refined intensity. It fills the whole mouth, it covers every corner. If gold was a flavour, it would taste something like this. But beautiful biscuit, walnut, and slightly toasted sesame that just flows layer after layer after layer. However, there's very little acidity in the wine, which makes it quite dense. It would make it absolutely superb with food, but I wouldn't be serving this champagne as an aperitif. The 100% Pinot Noir composition can leave champagne a little heavy on the palate. It doesn't have that elegance that the Chardonnay brings to the table, which can pull the whole cuvee back through the palate. The weight of the Pinot Noir is certainly present. This is a completely terroir reflective wine and with not a scrap of sugar, it's really showing the skill of the winemaker. 
If you are a champagne connoisseur, this is a house for you to keep your eye on. The champagnes are fascinating. They're full of character and they're really bold. Again, I reiterate, these are definitely food wines. I would be pairing this particular champagne with poultry or lamb. It certainly has the body and the weight to stand up with a more complex dish or something that's a bit heavier in weight. We have some real stars that are shining bright in the Orb region. Some boutique grower champagne houses that are finally making their way around the world. I encourage you to seek out some of the smaller producers and experiment with their unique styles. Single vineyards, seven grape varietals, low sulfur wines. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed this month's theme of the Orb Champagnes and we look forward to seeing you again on Le Bon V TV. Until then, sante and enjoy. Thank you.